Welcome back everybody, it's 123 Stealth Bomber here bringing you another tutorial for Assault, Men of War Assault Squad 2 and the Gem Editor. And today we're going to look at um, spawn points and um, how to correctly set up your map for um, multiplayer. A lot of people have been asking me and I finally decided to do this in more of a quickie tutorial series, small uh, tutorial series on how to set up your um, map to be playable and online. I always get the question, how do you make your map playable for the uh, multiplayer so I can play with my friends? Well, it's pretty simple for the most part. Um, you know, today we're going to be focusing on one game mode, which will be combat. It's the, you know, the easiest one to set up. It's the most played anyways. So, we're going to focus on how to do that. All you need for combat is just spawn points. So, we can just jump right into that. Now, before I go any further... Um, the next couple tutorials will show on how to do battle zones and capture the flag um, and even front lines because front lines is kind of a you know a complicated um, thing to set up so eventually I'll go over that and eventually I'll set up do another video where I will show you all the scripting and the program you need to do to actually make it playable in the multiplayer uh, we'll actually be making a mod um, so you can play it in the multiplayer okay but that will be a couple of videos from now, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Um, so today, this video is going to prep you on what you're going to need for your mod. So if you're going to be making a, um, like a multiplayer, just a regular combat map, um, and you don't know how to use spawn points, this is what we're going to be covering. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your service. Uh, you want to scroll down until you find map point. Now, don't be confused. You would think it's going to be spawn point, but matter of fact, it's not spawn point. Spawn point is actually used for front lines, so we're not going to worry about this. So get rid of that. So don't be confused. It's map point. If you're confused on which one is which, just make sure you know the one has like a big giant arrow with it and it has like an S on it, just to indicate it says spawn point. So if you don't know which is which, just make sure it has a big arrow over it on the arrow. Okay, um, next thing you want to do is, if you haven't already, change the player to player zero. Apparently, um, the way the game is programmed, um, the, pl the spawn point needs to be on player zero. If it's on any other player, it won't work. Well, not that I know of, but um, it's always worked for me on player zero. And apparently, the developer's maps, when you go into just their multiplayer maps, their spawn points are always on player zero as well. So I suggest putting on player zero so you don't have to get any errors. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that I guess it's just programmed in a way where um, player zero uh, indicates that they are human players, and it can still separate your team from the other team while they're still on player zero. Okay. Um, so what you're gonna do now is while you're still have things selected, go down in your properties and scroll down until you find a drop-down menu called Map Point. Um, essentially, we're gonna be working with four of these today. Uh, the first one is Name, Team, Order, and Visor. Um, so we'll start off with Team first. So the team works by um, all the game modes in multiplayer have only two teams. So the good thing is you only have to remember two alphabet uh, you know letters in the alphabet these are you know um, put in alphabetically so team one just happens to be team a and team two happens to be team B so it's really easy to you know remember so if you want to make this team a you know team one that is you put a now for the name you're gonna also put team a to indicate it's still part of the first team or you know part of team a and what you're gonna do is now is since this is our first waypoint um, spawn point you're gonna put one this is indicating this is player one spawn okay um, now go to the order and you're gonna also put the same number as what you did for the name so as you have a one well for the order you're just gonna put one again this also helps organize what player is going here first now let's say if you have an 8v8 map, the numbers are respectively in order. So if you had um, an 8v map, 8v8 map, you put order 
one for player one, order two for player two, order three for player three, and then name would be A1 for player one, A2 for player two, A3 for player three, and so on and so forth. Um, now finally, we have our visor. Um, you want to open up this drop box and go to spawn point. I think that's that baffles me is that it's called a map point, but we're setting it to a spawn point. Uh, essentially, we're actually just setting the property to spawn point to essentially put this as the initials players spawn point. Map point, if you put this to map point, this essentially is a, like um, a halfway through point. You would only use this for front lines. So make sure if you're using just for the normal game modes like battle zones and combat, um, you would put spawn point. It's the initial player to spawn. Okay. Um, now what I'm do is I'm just gonna make this a two-player, well, two v two. So I'm gonna just you know copy and paste. Now uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna simply change a one to a two, and order one to order two, and that's it really. What I'm gonna do now is just copy and paste for the other side, and just turn it around. And what I'm gonna do now is instead of changing the numbers, I'm gonna change team A to team B, and the name from A1 to B1. I'm going to copy this one more time and I'm going to paste it and I'm just going to change the numbers again. So instead of B1, it will be B2. Order 1 will be Order 2. You can see how it is. It's very, very easy. Um, you know, a lot of people just don't know how to do spawn points. So it's, you know, it's a very easy and simple process. Once you know how to do the fundamentals of how to spawn and, you know, place a map point, well, spawn point that is, it's one of the easiest things you'll do. So honestly, that's really about it. It's, you know, there's really nothing else to talk about. All these other things are including for the other game modes like front lines. So we don't have to really go over and cover anything more. So before I end this tutorial, I want to talk to you about one more thing. So it's how to set up the name of the map. Okay, so when you go to, to save your map, save as, uh, it's already here for you since this is a multiplayer map made by the developers. So when you want to make a map for a specific game mode, apparently it's programmed to read the file name of the instance file name and put it into so it can play it as that game mode. So let's say you want to make it for combat. Well, then all you have to do for the file is just type in combat. And then when you press enter or when you hit OK, it's going to put the .mi at the end. So if you put anything else like 0123 as the name, it won't read it. That could maybe work for the single player missions. But um, if it's a multiplayer mission, it has to go by the name of the game mode that you want it to set it for. So like I said, combat will just be combat. Make sure you spell it correctly, no spaces or anything like that. For example, battle zones. If you want to make this game, uh, this map available for battle zones, you put battle underscore zones. Um, or for um, capture the flag, you put capture, uh, let me type it out because it's not here, but you ca put capture flag. There's uh, this, you think there would be an underscore for this one, but in fact there isn't. So you just put capture and then uh, flag as one word. And then that's really about it. So you guys need to know. So I know this was a quick tutorial, but like I said, these are a, this will be a small series of quickies uh, to help you prep you for making your first mod. So thank, um, that's really about it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, liked it, and favored it. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, and or concerns, you know where to leave them down in the section below, um, you know, on my email, uh, Facebook, Steam, I uh, have all that stuff in the link for the, in the description so you guys know where to get that stuff. So thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope I see you guys next time.